Uh oh, SpaghettiOs. That's just a shame. Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, as always, Jay Villain, aka That Villain Jay. And tonight we have a very special treat for you. We are running Golgari Infection. Oh, yes, it's that sweet poison running through your veins. I haven't run this deck in oof, six months. I ran something like it a while back. I think probably when. Probably when Midnight Hunt dropped, I may have, might have put it out. I don't know. I can't remember. Um, it's been a while. Maybe not six months, but four months. Um, I wanted to revisit it because there are some stuff in Vow uh, that will improve this. And that it's a fun deck. And I haven't done a Golgari in a while. And every now and then you got to get your infection on. You know what I mean? Um, it is a completely standard deck, by the way. We are not touching alchemy with this. However, there are some fine cards in alchemy that you can add if you so choose. We'll go over that at the end. But this is a, a completely standard deck. So before we get to the uh, actual shakedown breakdown of this one, I need you to do something for me. Do you know what that is? Tenderly press that like button. Gently press that subscribe button. Or else, well, guys, the like and subscribe will come and brutally, brutally maul you if you don't do that. Um, that is a YouTube werewolf. You gotta watch out for the like and subscribe. Just go right down there and press that like button. Uh, you can join us on our stream every night at twitch.tv slash thatvillainj for all the live streaming goodness. We would love to have you there. First streamer shout out to Rich MTG. He just raided me. It's the first time I've ever seen him, but he's another streamer. You can go check him out too. Um, you can get your first streamer shout out by coming by. Uh, you can check our uh, you can check out our Discord community where all the latest news information, post your own decks, ask questions, and find out all the Kamigawa spoilers. And of course, this deck and all the other ones that I build are going to be available down below on my Aether Hub. So go check that out. So, <coughs> excuse me, what are we starting here? I'll take a little bit of water. Forsworn Paladin. I like her. Uh, why do I like her? Because she's a 1-1, one, 1-drop one, one menacer, which is pretty good. Then, of course, you can help ramp with her. You can play one black and one, tap, pay one life, and create a treasure token, which is a little bit of black ramp on turn two. Um, with a little bit of treasure. Then, of course, you can always boost up with her, um, which means that basically you can play black and two. Somebody gets plus two until the end of turn. If you used a treasure to spend this, meaning she can generate her own treasure, they get death touch as well, which is going to be very, very important because this is a death touch deck. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Great early drop there. Blizzard Brawl. Of course, we are running some snow here. Blizzard Brawl with Indestructible, uh, plus one, and Fights Creature. You don't know when we're running um, when we're running a, uh, Death Touching. Uh, when we fight creatures, obviously, we're going to win because we have Death Touch. So it doesn't matter how big they are. If we Blizzard Brawl them for one damage or two damage or whatever the case may be, they're going down. A great early contender for Blizzard Brawl is the Tajuru Blightblade. Um, the Elf Rogue. 1-1 one, one Elf Rogue. Uh, death Touch green fantastic stuff there um he is going to start the poisoning wild shape very very useful card i cannot tell you how useful this card is in this deck for the hexproof the reach to grab stuff out of the sky when they're not expecting it and the trample trample with death touch you're gonna see um you're gonna see a lot of different stuff going on with trampling death touch there's a lot of crazy tricks you can pull off with wild shape for protection trampling getting make sure those poison hits get through um invaluable card absolutely um especially with the prevalence of dragons out there you need that reach as well finn the fang bear we have the alternate art that's part of the reason i wanted to do a, another one of these decks man because uh guess what man i wanted to use my alternate art finn the fang bear I never got to use him in a deck so we have the alt art finn bang finn the fang bear there's a human warrior uh two black and one i mean one green and one um, one regular death touch, one three, and then whenever you have a creature you control with death touch deals combat damage to a player, that player gets two poison counters. A player with ten or more poison counters loses the game. Very, very interesting mechanic there. It's an alternate win state. This is an infection. This is a poison deck, and we will absolutely do it. Remember, to Jiro and Forsworn can all put poison on. We're also going to be putting on a lot of removal. Hero's Downfall is our anti. Um, is of course our anti-creature and anti-planeswalker tech there. Simple enough. We're going to want some instants uh, for that one. Uh, 
So we're just going to play You can put whatever you want in there, but I like that the ability that I can take away Planeswalkers too. Nighthawk Scavenger is going to be doing a lot of the heavy lifting. He's going to be one plus three. One plus the number of creatures in the graveyard is their power, and three is his toughness. Flying Death Touch and Life Link. He is going to be swooping in for the kills on this one. Uh, he is going to be going, going for the kills and putting those poisons on, um, which is going to be fantastic there. A really, really powerful work workhorse card, like I said. Uh, he will do be doing a lot of the heavy lifting. Of course, you're going to want four fins, and you're going to say, well, Jay, I, if this is a full poison deck, I'm going to make sure I'm going to get my fins. Even if I have four, there's no guarantee. Ah, pay attention, dear sir. Varagoth, the Blood Sky Sire. Another alternate art card. Look at that. I have his crazy alt art there. Uh, a Demon Rogue, 2, 3, and Death Touch. So he's fitting the theme exactly how you need it. One black and two. And then his boast ability is only one black and one. Target player searches their library for a card, shuffles it, and put on the card on top. He will pull any card that you want from your library onto the top of your deck um, when he attacks. So that means Finn the Fangbearer, if you need him, take him. Any card that you need, you will draw it next turn. He is going to be basically... Uh, your demonic tutor built in only two of these we really only need two of them um because we don't want to overload on the uh on the on the legends as it is this is a very legend heavy deck um so we're only going to do two of him but he will absolutely help us draw what we need uh, another legendary creature henrika dominica Domnathi, a one three flying vampire at the beginning of your combat on your turn each Choose one that hasn't been chosen. Each player sacrifices a creature. You draw one card and lose one life. Again, a little bit of card draw there. Uh, and then, if, of course, we can transform her into a 3-4 flying death touch and lifelink. Each creature you control with flying death touch and lifelink gets plus one to the end of turn, which, as you can imagine, is most of our creatures have flying death touch or lifelink or all three. Um, pay two black and uh, one, and we can boost everybody up. Again, a flying death toucher. They usually don't have all of the abilities that they need. They don't have all the flyers that they need to stop all of our death touchers going in. Each one is just going to stab in with their knife and put in that sweet, slow poison. Oh, that's what we want. So two Henrika Infernal Seers. Uh, Henrika Domnathi is going to be fantastic here. Um, that's going to be uh, a really, really helpful card overall. And again, if you want to sacrifice a creature, if you want to play it early, you can sacrifice a Jijira Blight Blade or a Force Worm Paladin just to get rid of some of the else uh, to, again, hit that removal um, hit that removal tech very, very effectively. Sereth, another legendary human warlock. Yes, this is a heavy legend poison deck. Uh, two green and two. Other creatures you control have death touch and other tapped creatures you control have death touch. Other tapped creatures you control have hexproof. That means anything that we attack with, as long as it's tapped, as long as it doesn't have vigilance, which nothing does, is going to have death touch. Everything already does except for Forsworn Paladin and the untransferred Henrika. So it will make everybody have death touch, no matter what. However, the other ability that she has... Uh, despite being a three uh, power and four toughness, is the untapped creatures you control have hexproof, meaning that unless they're board wiping, they cannot target select anything as long as you have Sereth out, um, which is going to be fantastic overall. Um, especially when you have a wild shape in your hand and they try to, well, I'll target Sarah first. I'll get rid of her. No wild shape on her for hex proof. They can't target her. They can't target anything else. Boom. They're dead on arrival. So that's fantastic. And then anytime that she's untapped, you can pay one of any color, tap her and then untap a target creature, the land that you control, even a land. Um, meaning that if somebody else gets targeted and they have, they don't have hex proof, you can immediately untap them. Boof. Uh, all of a sudden, Henrika Dominigra has Hexproof because she untapped herself. Fantastic stuff there. Um, really good. And then, of course, Binding of the Old Gods with this lovely woodcut art here. Destroy target non-land permanent. Again, that's anything that's enchantment, that's uh, artifact. I busted up somebody's key, key to the archives, and, he, of course, he scooped after that one. Um, you can bust up anything that you want with Destroy Target Not Land Permanent. Uh, one green, one black, and two. Then, of course, you search your library for a forest card, which, of course, Snow Covered Forest will do just by, fine for that ability right there. And then, of course, creatures you control gain Death Touch until the end of turn, which is everything we have. Again, making sure that we swing in even the few guys that don't have Death Touch right off the rip, um, especially something like Forsworn, because remember, Forsworn has Menace, and they need two creatures to block with Menace. So if you're swarming in with a ton of cards... They can't block all of these poison knives coming in at them, especially when they're all covered in the Finn the Fangbearer poison. So um, 
we have some fantastic stuff here. We can really, really poison people, and we can just kill people out. Uh, nine swamps, ten forests, uh, all snow covered, so we have Blizzard Brawl, right? Three Dark Boar Pathways, if you want to do mana to taste, that's fine. I would just recommend you don't overdo it on double manas that aren't snow, so you can make sure you can get your in invulnerability and plus one off the Blizzard Brawl there. Uh, a little bit more green than black, surprisingly. Creatures are all over the place, but we do have a decent amount of rogues and humans. Vampires, warlocks, warriors, elves, demons, all sorts of. 2.2 average, 2.2 lands. Pretty standard, and we do have that ability to make some treasure early on. So we should be all right on lands, even though this deck loves to flood like crazy. Uh... I'm going to warn you that right now. I have had the worst luck with lands on this deck. It might just be me. Maybe you'll have more success later. And then uh, eight instants and four sorceries, three enchantments. Looking at here, horizontal gang, here you go, my guys. Um, one, two, three, and four. That's it. Nothing more than five. Uh, pretty quick deck. We have a lot of ones here. If you look at the stats on that one, we have a lot of ones, a decent amount of twos. Oh, I, I missed Inscription of Abundance. I can't believe I missed that one. Again, uh, another fight creature you don't control, gain life, and of course, put one, two 1-1 one, one counters on target creature. Again, removal. All said and done with Blizzard Brawl, Inscription of Abundance, Hero's Downfall and Binding of the Old Gods, we have a massive amount of creature removal. Uh, inscription is probably the only inscription I like. I love to fight creatures as an instant as well, so even blockers or anything like that. Um, very, very useful card overall. I can't believe I forgot him. I was too excited about Finn the Fang Bear getting, uh, getting some views there. Um, looking at my sweet alternate art, Finn the Fang Bear. So got too excited. But remember that one, Inscription of Abundance is on there. I don't really have any recommendations for alchemy. I think you can pretty much add whatever you want. There isn't that many death touches in alchemy. Um, so if you wanted to put something in from uh, alchemy that was death touch, um, you know, you could. Uh, there's only two cards, which are basically Gutmorn and... Uh, city uh city stalker connoisseur really nothing worth it to do for alchemy but you can of course adapt it we will be playing in the alchemy queue because i prefer it we will be grinding up that platinum ladder trying to get to diamond by this weekend hopefully maybe uh we'll see and uh let's get into it boys let's run this infection you've pretty much got to expect um that you're going to get wiped turn three or turn four. Like, you've got to pretty much go in knowing that that's going to happen. Let's keep it. Why not? It's expensive hand, but we'll keep it. It's the same thing, man. Everyone's just playing mono white. Wow. Okay. Yeah, everyone's just playing mono white. Swingy, you want to swing any more, guy? Huh? You want to go for a little swingy? No? You don't feel like doing that no more? Okay, that's fine. You don't got to do that no more. Not exactly smart, but okay. Claims to like System of Down, but doesn't have their entire discography memorized. Yes, I know. I'm such a poser, dude. I've been caught. I've been caught red-handed as a poser. I don't know why you would do that. Um, so let's do this. Um, let's do this. Yes. 
The darkness consumes you, does it not? Won't be broken. He's out of there. Barfo the clown is out of there. By my master. All right. Now we're on a roll with on a roll. I don't know why he attacked that time. That was a weird. Um, man, I'm running into some mono white tonight. Was that three mono whites in a row earlier on the warm up? Probably. Orihime is not. Orihime should have been with the girl who liked her. What's her face? The karate girl. That's who Orihime should end up with. Unpopular opinion, but there it is. The old Cincinnati time waste. In my opinion, if you have to play the entire deck to win, then it won a good deck, man. I had to play 50 cards to win this. Okay, well then, it wasn't a very good deck. I'm glad I didn't finish it. I'm so mad. Double swing in, bro. There you go. Is it burn? The old Cincinnati time waste. Yeah, you've got to stop. You, you got to stop uh, attacking, bro. It's not working for you. What's Crag Plate Behemoth? Can somebody card that? Crack plate bell off. Oh, okay. Yep, still no land. What should I do here? Uh-oh, 
little SpaghettiOs. That's just a shame. Two lands. I, I listen, man. I'll, I'll land it with no gear down, man. Flaps all fucked up. If I can get it in you, I can get it in you. You know? Nobody even saw it, man. It's the blade you don't see. Slipped it in right between the ribs. It, oh, yeah. He didn't even see it. He's still confused, man. That dude's still back there playing. <laughs> yes. Yep, that's exactly what happens. Kami the Kami coming in. Werewolf pack leader. Very nice. Blizzard brawling my fin. Very nice. Third dose. What doses are you getting, man? That's a bit nebulous. Packs on pop. Anti COVID. Okay. Faceless Haven, and a Tenacious Pup. Very nice. I'm going to have to get rid of that Howling Moon. Call it a booster. Yeah, we call it a booster. Booster Gold. Yeah, you can't have that Howling Moon, man. on pop pretty good 
I don't like that he killed so many of my guys. That's a pain in my ass. He killed a lot of my early plays there. Um... He's going to gain life. He might have me on this one. Oh, there we go. Um, he's going to do... Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, he's probably got me on this one, man. That's going to be seven, eight. Eight damage. I'm down to one. Finn the Fang Bear. Creatures you control gain death touch. Unfortunately, I can only put a little bit of poison on him. I can hit him for three. Poison out for four. Eh, it was close. It was close. A little bit too fast for me. A good game, though, man. Good game, though. He did that wolf style. He didn't really have any regular werewolves. He mostly just did actual wolves. Um, which is pretty funny when you think about it. Yeah, I did a all wolf deck. I well, I might have not put. I might have put other stuff than wolves in there. I don't know. I can't remember. I did one that was mostly wolves. You can obviously from illustrating that that wolves in the snow. Um, you definitely can. How you doing, Kami the Kami Buggy Man? Um, how's everybody doing out there, man? Give me some chat. Let me know how everything's going out there, man. Give me, give me, give me the good word. Give me the good news. What's happening? What's cracking? What's popping? People didn't like that. Uh, they said they noped out on my um, on my red burn today, which probably was a a, a much better deck. Uh, probably one of the better decks I've um, I did. I said I did werewolf women. I couldn't call it what I wanted to call it, which was a reference to an old exploitation movie, because I don't think YouTube allows you to say that word. Do you know what word I'm talking about? Do you know about the old 70s exploitation movie, Werewolf Women? <laughs> no. It's a 70s exploitation movie, and it's a reference to a certain... No, 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 no. It's, it's, a, it's a very evil political ideology that existed in the 1940s. Werewolf woman of the. Just just Google that. Yeah, there. Just Google the phrase werewolf woman of the. And you'll find it. Yeah, there you go. You got it. Got it in one. Um, let's do. Yeah, the Redburn deck was um, uh, the Redburn deck was very powerful. It was very powerful. Not gonna lie. NGL very powerful. Ravenous Pursuit, nice. Um, Henrika Dominica. <laughs> no blocks. Take the five. All right. <laughs> To Juru. Let me get to Ju to Juru. There we go. Rar. 
listen, man, that mono red will absolutely rip stuff. It will rip and tear until it is done. Unpopular deck today. I was surprised. People didn't really want to look at it, but uh, boy, howdy, was that a powerful deck. Gnarly Colony. You going to do that. Draw a card. Um... This is where things go bad. This is where things go bad for you, bro. Yeah, you're about to get poisoned. Devouring tendrils, very nice. put a bonus on them I need a green mana and I'll be really happy that's a Tajura blight blade um Unfortunately, we can't do that. Hmm. Let's do... top card of your deck at any time send him pack leader is he gonna swing in kazoo do mammoth glorious sunrise he is gonna swing in okay and there's that Can I put a Henrika Dumnathy and an un... Okay, so this is... I need I need the guys here. Can I put a Henrika and a Henrika if one is transformed and one isn't? Can anybody find that rule for me? Probably not. Somebody said yes. You can. Yeah, I should be able to. I can put a regular one and an untransformed one. Well, let's do it after I attack. How about that? There we go. It's two different cards. If one transforms, I know they might die, but um, uh, should we do it? Lamau. Same name. State-based effects are checked, but they're not the same name. One is Henrika Domnathy and one is Henrika Infernal Seer. Well, let's find out. Let's find out. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. <laughs> it is pretty bad. I'm not going to lie. That's pretty bad. NGL. NGL. That's pretty bad, bro. Untransformed and transformed, Henrika. Yeah, that's pretty good, bro. Not gonna lie. He might try to pop it by then, but either way. Hey, thanks, Nukes. Yeah, he's confused, man. I've been confusing dudes all night, man. <laughs> I 
because of the three turn limit yeah there is a three turn limit on it because it's going to have to um you know what i mean by clever you know what i mean by that clever sounds you don't you don't gotta you don't got we, we don't gotta play around you know what i mean by that man <laughs> you know what i mean by that uh no blocks all right um Sarath Viper's Fang. Okay. Uh, lose a card and draw. Lose and draw. And of course, we will swing, swing. Alana and Alana, partners. Partners in law. That's kind of want to make a, a spoof sketch of, have you been injured by an orc or a scorpion? Contact Helena and Alina, partners in law. We will get you. Oh, look at that. That was a big freaking, uh, big freaking move there. Uh, so let's block that one. And let's block... That one. I might die. And I didn't. We will get you the money you deserve at Helena and Alana, partners at law. Freaking Devouring Tendrils, look at that. Look at that. Top deck Devouring Tendrils. The top... <laughs> the top deck Devouring Tendrils, guys. Oh my god. The top deck fucking... Devouring tendrils. That was the only thing that would help him win if he had that one fucking thing, bro. Top deck for fucking devouring tendrils, man. Went for the sniper shot. I could have blocked I could have blocked his uh I could have blocked his other guy. I could have blocked his gnarlid, and it wouldn't have mattered. He'd have got in. He drew two, uh, uh, two Alana, Alana, Helena, and Alana too, which were uh, freaking stopping me from coming in. Have you been top decked by devouring tendrils in a magical forest? Call Alana and Helena, partners and law. <laughs> we won't stop fighting for you. Here at Helena, and Alana partners at law. Hey, Shipwreck Sailor, how you doing? We'll see you, my guy. Absolutely amazing. Oh, that was a bad choice. Hey, 
Have you been burned by six lightning bolts back to back? Has Adelaine swarmed you and the ones that you love? Call Helena and Alana, partners at law. We will fight for you. Oh, we're getting this guy this time, man. All I gotta do, even if he kills this, all I if he doesn't put a uh, in sky blocker, yeah, you're done, man. You're done, man. Transform, Henrika Dominica, swing in. Pop, 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 pop. Poisoned. There you go. Stumpha. Hey, what's up, Stumpha? The single best fantasy artist working right now, man. I don't know why y'all ain't looking at freaking... There you go. Stumpha's fantasy art, man. You're not checking him out on, on Instagram or you're not checking him out on whatchamacallit. This man will make artwork in like a day that'll blow you away, man. It's ridiculous the amount of output he's got. And in a unique style, too. I gotta say that. He, he, he's not just imitating basic fucking digital fantasy art, man. He's, he's got a very good style all of himself, man. I cannot say enough good things about Stumpha art, for real. Oops, all spells. Okay. Let's throw away Henrika Dominica then. By the way, in case you don't know the, the lore, Henrika Dominica, you're going to say, her name isn't Henrika Dominica, it's it's Henrika Domnathije. You're saying it wrong. And I will tell you, of course, that no, I'm not saying it wrong. Her name is Henrika Dominica Domnathi. Okay? Please don't have a removal. He had a removal. Yeah, I've already lost to this guy. He's got nothing but removal. Oh, well, maybe not. see what you got my guy you got more removal come on man try me try me man he's got another top deck yep you got another freaking blood chief stars look at that first nine cards two blood chiefs are you fucking kidding me man he popped that twice bro oh my god dude i can't win for losing I, sw I swear, bro. Look at it. nine cards. He had two blood chiefs, which are the only fucking thing that he can that that, that he could have one one carded. He could have one dropped removal on me, that to kill freaking uh, Fang Bear. Come on, bro. We're we're doing too much here, man. Nah, fam. We're doing too much here, man. We're we do. He's doing way too much, bro. That's ridiculous. That's yeah. I'm gonna draw nothing but mana from here on out. 50% mana and a 20 per, and a 30% mana deck. Torment to Scarabs. Naturally, that's what he fucking pulled for Curse Bound. Um, doing that. And yeah, I told you, we're just going to get fucking mana from here on out. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Nine cards, two Blood Chiefs. Otherwise, I could have cleared the way and poisoned him twice. <laughs>
Lisa's pulling uh, those out of my deck. She's probably got more top deck removal. Yep. Amazing. Hey, good night, Zalabies. Professor Onyx, naturally. <laughs> Exploit, draw. I don't know that uh, soul to squeeze. But I will sing you um, Scar tissue that I wish you saw Step outside but not to brawl, yeah With the birds I share this alone, let have you With the birds I share this alone, let have you Yeah, that was a nice, a nice rip when I went high there, you like that? I'm glad I put that at the end of the video because that was a punishment. Oh, wow. This is really good stuff here, man. Really good. Really good. I'm really glad I drew 10 mana and 18 cards and that he drew fucking top deck removal three times in a row. That's really good. We're doing great here, guys. Soul to squeeze. I don't know that one, man. Give me a lyric off of it. GG. We don't need to go any further. One more, guys, and we're done. I don't like the fact that he has an Ugin avatar. That's not a good sign right there. Opponent goes first with this garbage hand that I got. Mulligan. Not a very good hand. Um... Was that really necessary? If this is Azorius, I'm going to quit right away. If this is Azorius fucking control, I'm going to quit right away. Azorius keys. Yeah, it's Azorius keys. It is Azorius keys, man. And he slow planned me too. Yeah, it's Azorius keys. And he slow planned me. I'm not going to waste my time here. Um, I honestly don't want to waste my time here. I want to quit right away. He's slow playing me on Azorius Keys. God damn, man. That's a son of a bitch. I'll tell you that much.
keep playing cards. Add to that stack. There you go, man. Play all them pretty little cards out. Play all them pretty little cards out. Got any more instances in your hand? Faithful absence. All right. freaking slow keys playing me man i couldn't think of a word worst worst worse fate than this uh sereth you got another counter spell in this hand yep I know he's got another one uh, one mana blue card in his hand. Probably the last fading hope he's got. He's probably got a fading hope. Because <laughs> it was only one mana, so there's no other action he could have taken. He's slow playing me. He's slow playing me, man. That's all. Or he's, he's looking at freaking porn while he's doing this. Faithful absence. That's removal. I need a black mana. It's another freaking counter spell. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. One, two, three, four. Yeah, he's got nothing but instants in his hand. He's got nothing but instants in his hand. Jawara Disruption. Yep. You know? That's amazing. That is amazing, man. This dude has never heard of passing priority in his whole life. Doomscar, look at that. Wow. Amazing.
Uh, yeah, I mean, that's the only thing I can think of with stuff like this, man. Is that uh, that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to slow crawl the ranks just with garbage. With time wasters. You don't got to be good. You just got to be slow. There it is. If it has vigilance, I can. Because um, I need to tap. Uh, technically, I can. There you go. He drafted something. I don't know what he drafted. Might be a full-on wipe there. Yeah, it does, it does work. So we're going to have to play this real smooth. Because you're so smooth. Because it's just like the ocean under the moon. That's Menace, my guy. You want to block that one? I guarantee you don't. Nah, you didn't want to block that one. Uh oh. Donkey Wizard. And there we go. Azorius Keys. Falls to the poison. Well, I have to say, ladies and gentlemen, despite some very, very bad luck tonight, I feel like we did surprisingly well. Um, I'm actually pretty happy. Um, this is a fun deck. It's not a rank climbing deck. It's for fun and for pulling off epic combos. They can't all be rankers, guys, but uh, this is a fun one. I like this one. I think Henrika Dominica is um, really the one that we want. Also, this is a zero... This is a 100% zero no alchemy deck. Um, if you wanted alchemy in the deck, you certainly can add it. Um, there's really not much to add from alchem, but uh, you certainly can do it if you want to. Um, but there's really not many cards that support alchemy, city stalker connoisseur if you want, but ultimately there's, there's really not very much. So until next time, guys, I've been Jay Villain and you've been great. Bye-bye.